Good morning, folks. We are looking at a calm star. I've indicated the largest surface surges with an arrow, but there truly just wasn't much to see. Solar maximum is potentially at an end here, although when the sunspots do appear at random over the next few months, it is advised we monitor for larger, albeit far fewer, eruptions, such as the pattern of post-max decline. As for now, no flashing, no solar flares. Let's update our sun grazing comet. Most of you know it came in, swung just inside the C2 camera angle, and then quickly exited perihelion bright and growing a tail. Still gorgeous. That massive CME you see coming out of the south was a backside and high coronal eruption that will not produce geoeffective space weather for Earth. Solar flaring in low C range with nothing scary or even noteworthy as we mentioned before. There are virtually no sunspots on the disk. We've got tiny umbral speckles but they are magnetically simple and spread out. Solar wind shows relative calm the last day but as yesterday became today UTC plasma temperature went from around a thousand Kelvin to around 20,000 Kelvin. That's the only excuse for the electron disruption at that same time along with the simultaneous jump of the KP up to 3. No instability. We do await a coronal hole stream to arrive tonight while this current opening departs. The larger seismicity is still here as a swarm at Japan has hit 6 magnitude again in the last few hours. As you remember, that coronal hole is part of the northern positive opening, and now we can see the trans-equatorial negative opening in red coming in behind it. Top links today include a fireball seen over Pennsylvania. Allegedly, all accounts say it rivaled the sun at its brightest point. Beautiful. Next, last year it was big news that some snow flurries had fallen in Israel and Egypt. Now, the region is blanketed in white after a winter storm has just come through. Climate extremes, back and forth. Next. Major power outages in Hawaii the last few days were due to high winds damaging the infrastructure. Happened the moment the southward swinging convergence tail off the northern low crested the islands. Remember, that convergence is what makes tornadoes and hail when it's on land in the spring and summer. Next, when the USGS failed to recognize the Queensland 5 magnitude quake a few days ago, I was a bit puzzled considering that it was felt, reported, registered, etc and it was extremely rare. I wanted to make sure I didn't jump the gun too early, but now that one of the cyclones crossed right over the quake zone, we can call this an earth spot event for sure. And if you think the quake was rare, how about a category five cyclone at this location? This was a major connection event, folks. I'd also like to mention that it's Saturday, so Fly on the Wall will take place over at suspiciousobservers.org, the link to which can be found right below this video. We have 17 episodes of Deeper Look, by the way, highly recommended. And today's Fly on the Wall podcast will cover the solar status, some very odd sightings, the star entering our solar system story from earlier this week, and a university claiming to have found evidence of panspermia. If you aren't yet a member, click the Become a Member button right there. It's three bucks a month or a spine-crushing $20 for a year and hundreds of hours of extra content. Let's finish off with the weather. Got lows south-central and north in the Americas. High pressure node to the southeast. The wind drive from these cells is driving heat and moisture up the leading east edge of the lows and bringing freezing chill down the western side, which, by the way, is how you get a 24-hour temperature delta that looks like this. These winter storms are unreal. The dead count keeps rising, and tonight's lows will deliver again tonight. From flash flooding to freezing rain and blizzard conditions in the east, once again in the crosshairs, while I not so casually mention that another storm is coming in right behind that, already affecting the west. In Europe, please note how an arctic line of air is coming down to meet a flow out of the Atlantic that curls in dives south, and then meets the heat flow coming north out of the Mediterranean and making a V-shape to the clouds and wind drive. The clouds do show the moisture curling in off the Atlantic high pressure and then down to meet the V where another cloud line heads north. Those cyclones at Australia are weakening now. Convergence at the south and some low nodes near New Zealand will have them joining in with the remaining precipitation warnings for the area this evening. 
about the current conditions and shots of our start to close. It's 6.20 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.